It's your perfect storybook romance. You fall in love and want to get married and then start a family. But the story our guests are living is a little bit different. Yeah, in this book, two people meet and fall in love in chapter one, but as the pages turn, the couple doesn't get married. They have children first, and as the story unfolds, these parents find a way to handle the demands of a newborn. But soon after the baby arrives, the baby's mother has a demand of her own, and she isn't willing to back down. She wants to get married, but the baby's father says no way. On today's show, the final chapter of this book will unfold on our set as these baby's mothers issue the ultimate ultimatum. They are here to demand that their baby's father set a wedding date or else they are kicking these men to the curb. Will these couples get hitched or ditched? Find out as women today tell their men, I've had your baby, now marry me or poof, be gone. <laughs> they'd never have the guts to lay it on the line have come here to deliver the ultimate ultimatum to their baby's father. Marry me or poof, poof be gone. So these bold women will leave today's show with a wedding date or without a man. Meet Amy. She says that she wants to marry her baby's father, Hector, but he tells her that he's a prize and she has to win him. Amy is fed up and says if Hector doesn't agree to set a wedding date, he will be set free. Amy, tell us, what excuses does he give you? Well, Ricky, like you said, you know, he thinks he's a prize. He is a really nice guy and he's a great father, but why should I have to win him? I'm sure that, you know, there's other guys out there that I would be a prize to. And, and, I mean, it, it seems to me that you should have already won him. You're pregnant with his second mm -hmm. child. I'm almost eight months pregnant with our second child. I mean, he. He's taken me to jewelry stores before, and he's gotten me all excited, let me pick out a ring and everything. And so you, you would try on every single ring in the store, and yeah, what would I he find, do? I find a ring that I like, and then, you know, he gets me all excited about it, and then we'll walk out of the store and goes, well, you better start saving your money then. <gasps> <laughs> what a mean thing to do. Well, he thinks it's funny, but I don't find it, it too humorous. And he even refers to you as his wife in Yeah, public. he'll introduce me to people that he knows through work or whatever. He'll introduce me as his wife and I don't, I'm really not sure why he won't marry me except he thinks that, you know, he should only get married once, which, which I agree, you know, when you get married, it should be for life. You know, that's the ideal and, situation. And shouldn't it be the mother of your children? Well, I would think so. So what do you want to say to him today? That I want him to set a date. I'm, I'm ready to get married and you know, it's what not if he's not willing to set a date? Then I'm gone. Ooh. I've left before. Yeah. I can leave again. Okay. And you'll leave for good? Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's hear from Hector. Hector? How could you do that to her, take her into a jewelry store and have her try on all these engagement she rings? She'd know I'd just be joking around. I'd take it seriously. Oh, I'd really? No, she knows I ain't ready to be married yet. Now wait, why are you not ready? Why are you ready to be a father to two children and you're not ready to tie the knot with the woman you make the babies with? And why do you live with me? Why do I live with you? All right, having a child to me is something totally different. All right? All right, okay, we... Having kids, a child, right? you are responsible for, for, for a little teeny life and you have right. to not only well, write, right. but financially and emotionally be responsible for them. With, with, a, with a partner, when you choose to tie that knot with someone, at least you're two consenting adults right. okay. choosing I'm not to work I'm together. I'm not going to marry her. I'm not what saying are you saying, Hector? I'm saying I want to wait. How long do you want to wait until there's three and I'm, four I'm and willing, five kids? I'm willing to wait, but I want, I want a commitment. I want you to say, okay, we can get married 
in two years, and then you. But stick see, to I that. don't know when I'm going to be married, ready to be married. Yeah. What are you? Right. What are you waiting you for? What do you think is going to change when you get married? It's what? not like you don't know what you're getting yourself into, right. or, is, or is that the problem? I'm not ready to get into that yet. But Hector, we live together. <laughs> right. <laughs> you treat me like your wife. True. And why do you call her your wife if she's not your wife? Because that's what she practically is. And then why not make it official? Because I ain't ready to make it official. Right. We have our problems just like everybody else, and it's just not time yet. Oh, when is the time, though? I don't know when the time is. I know that you have some, some requirements that you need for her to be your wife, and she needs to cook and clean for you. Mm. Right. If I'm at work and she stays at home, why not? I if she goes to work, problem, I try I to make her something to eat. That. You don't have a problem being his no, slave. Well, not his no, slave. Not a slave. I think, but I, I will cook for him and clean. But I think that he needs to contribute to cleaning also. And you know, if I would do, if I, if I cook, Great. he can do the dishes. Great. Yes, ma'am. Why do you call yourself a prize? Uh, I just say that joking around. I yeah, mean, what makes you such a prize, Hector? He well, she compared is. to compared to where we live, he is a prize. <laughs> and I, I, I love him. But I think the majority of the audience tends to think that you are the prize sitting up there, my dear. It's true. It goes both ways. Yes, ma'am. Hi, Ricky. First of all, he's contradicting himself. How old are you? 18. That's why. That's why. First of all, why would you say, cause, um, why would you say that she's your wife if you don't want to tie the knot? Because we're practically married as it is, so why not just leave it alone until it I'm ready make to? No sense. See, right now we could still break up if we need to. But I mean, I don't want later on. I don't want to get into no kind of divorce. But you know, you can never break up for good because you are constantly right. going to be bonded because of these two babies. And Amy, my question to you is, if you knew he was like this, why did you go and get pregnant again? Yes. Well, I thought, I thought that both of us had changed, and it just. So obviously, you, you're not going to get that commitment today. He is not willing to commit to you in that way. What does that mean? Are you eight months pregnant, going to be out the door? I don't know. Why buy the cow if you get the milk for free? You know, I mean, so this cow's milk can just dry up if you. Don't want to marry me. All right, then. I'm not ready. I'm not saying I'm not going to, but I'm not ready right now. You know that. So what are you going to do? Well, I guess... <laughs> They're telling you what to do. All right, wait. How does it go again? It goes, poof, be gone. All right. Bye, Hector. Bye-bye. It's nice knowing you. Later, one of our favorite movie stars will drop by. But up next, he says his baby's mother better stop whining about marriage because he refuses to walk down the aisle until she loses 50 pounds and learns to cook and clean for him. Can't wait to meet him. Don't go away. I was good enough to have your two kids, and I'm sure I should be good enough to marry you. You need to marry me, set a well, date. I want to marry you, but, you know, you got your... Don't make that bad. You got your turn. <laughs> No, I wouldn't force someone to marry me just because we had a child together. I would um, want them to marry me because they, they love me. I don't think two people should get married just because they have a child, because if you don't have the basics with um, your partner, then you're not going to have to bring up your child properly. I don't think someone should give an ultimatum if they have a baby together to get married. I think they should marry for love. Today's show have been putting it all on the line as they have issued ultimatums to their baby's fathers. Marry me or... <laughs> Our next guest, Carlos, says he is sick and tired of his baby's mother's ultimatums. He says there is no way, no chance he'll marry her until she... Until she does what, Carlos? Well, she's got to lose 50 pounds. Oh. Yeah. Why wait, wait, wait. Really <laughs> she has to lose 50 pounds in order for you to marry her. Oh, so it's not crazy. about unconditional love for you. You are obviously putting some major conditions on this. Well, it's not that. There's a couple other things, too. 
Oh, so it's not just losing 50 pounds. What else does she have to do before you marry her? Learn how to cook and clean, quit smoking, um, watch her diet, start <laughs> exercising, you know, and stuff like that. It's amazing. That's what's important to him now that he wants to call her his wife, but yet she is the mother of your child. Why don't two you see how, two how children. could you look after having two babies? You think, that that you're, you think you're going to look like that? Well, should we meet his better it. half? And I do yeah. mean that better half. Julie, come on out. <laughs> Hi, Julie. Hi. Excuse me, Ricky. Whatever happened to unconditional love, baby? <laughs> Uh, I think can you can you can lose 50 pounds too if I can lose it. So, Julie, does that hurt your feelings? Obviously, I mean because you do want to commit to the person that you you're raising your yeah. children with, and the fact that it's because of weight doesn't that make you crazy? Yes, <laughs> it does. And I cook for him. I cook for him. I serve him his plate, and then I serve my plate. And if he wants more, then I get him more, and then I continue to eat. Uh, That's what you do. Yeah, you can't say I don't cook for him because I do. But why do you serve him? That's just the way I was brought up. That's the way my mom did my dad, and that's the way I'm going to do You know what, Ricky? Ricky, if he, says, if he asks me to serve him a glass of water, I say no, because I am not his servant. So True. Yeah, I mean, true. you're partners, I mean, especially if you're going to get married. Well, I mean, or we help each other out. I mean, maybe she might feel like she does more than I do. Now, Carlos, I understand you're doing a little bit on the side. You've been cheating on your woman. Whoa! Seems to me she needs to be making demands of her own before she marries you. She got a few demands, but, you know, I can meet them as long as she meets hers. What's up with the cheating? Why are you cheating on her? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Good reason, yes. Why does she have to lose the uh, 50 pounds? You have two kids. You had no problem before. <laughs> He's, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Julie. He don't have, no, when he wants something, you know, it doesn't matter how I look. When he wants it, you know, he ain't worried about me looking no way. I still don't get enough of it, though. <laughs> Julie, what is it you came all this way that you want to say to Carlos? That if I was good enough to have your two kids, then I'm sure I should be good enough to marry you. You need to marry me, set a well, date. I want to marry you, but, you know, you got your... Don't look that bad. You got your turn back on that <laughs> So what's it going to be? Are you going to commit to her today? At least, you know, set a date or tell me you're, you're, we can get engaged or I, something. I've told her the same day she steps on that scale and she's lost that 50, we'll get married. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, Julie, why do you want to marry him? What does he have to offer you? I mean, I love him and he's, you know, he's a great father. He's great to his kids, you know, and I think, you know, I just want to get, I just want to make, you know, even my son asked me, Mommy, why is your last name different than mine? Because your daddy won't marry me. That's yes, ma'am, what do you want to say? For Amy, are you crazy? He's not serious about marrying you. He looks like a little 13-year-old kid gang member from Compton or something. <laughs> and, and Julie, Julie, are you... I, I disagree. I think he looks like Wayne Newton. <laughs> Don't get <laughs> shade. No. Now, why do we come out, have to no. cross with these insults? No. Uh, Julie, oh, he cheated on you. Are you out of your mind? He cheated on you. That's all I have to say. He cheated on you. You're crazy. Yeah. So what's it going to be, Carlos? Carlos, the topic of the show, you either marry her or... What's it going to be? At least, you know, set a date or... Give me a ring. Oh, he got me a ring, but he pawned it. He gave me a ring. She wanted a pawn it. He got to make a decision. Carlos. Are you, are you walking on out of here? At least, you know, give me a ring set a day. I bought, a, I bought her engagement rings before because we were going to get married and her aunt made a dress for her, but she wouldn't fit in it. And her aunt didn't let it out. And um, she said she's going to lose weight, get in it, then we'll get married. And six years later, she still ain't fit in it. I guess we're not going to get an answer from Carlos. Coming up next, she is four and a half months pregnant and says her baby's father better marry her before the baby arrives and the clock is ticking. That's coming up next.
is. I think it's wrong for someone to give an ultimatum to get married just because they have a child. I'm not gonna be happy together. They're not, you know, it's gonna just ruin the relationship. The child's not gonna make a difference. If the people aren't meant for each other and they're not happy, the child's gonna suffer for it. Giving their babies, fathers the ultimate ultimatum, marry me or get lost. Meet Rachel. She is four and a half months pregnant and says, Brian, the father of her unborn baby, better walk her down the aisle before their baby is born. Now, are you serious about this, Rachel? Yeah, I'm serious. Because I get the feeling the two <laughs> women we've already met, they're yeah. not, they're wishy-washy. They're not, they say they're going to give these ultimatums, but they're not standing to them. No, no. I'm it's serious. Okay. If he does marry me, I'm leaving. Okay. I'm leaving. <laughs> I can do it myself. Now, why, why do you think he doesn't want to marry you? I mean, if you're good enough to have his baby, then you should be good enough to, to marry. Right. He thinks that I'm a bitch. <laughs> he thinks that I'm a bitch now, but I'm only four months. And in six or seven months, I'm going to be even more of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm actually going pretty high on the irrit irritability scale and lately. I think I'm pretty nice right now. <laughs> so what do you want to say to him? Um, either marry me or... I'll see ya. All right. Yeah, we know the we know the slogan here. It's poof, be gone. All right, let's meet him. Brian, come on out. What? What's up? Hi, Brian. I smell jealousy. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, me? What you think you're supposed to be jealous Come on, of? Brian, stay with me. What, what's the deal? Why don't you want to marry the woman that's going to have your baby? I've been a player for like five years. I ain't ready to... J just, just because she's married right... Or just because she's pregnant don't mean I have to marry her. But it's been a year and he's not a player anymore. He's... It hasn't been no year. We've been together since uh, June. He's changed. A lot. He is not a player anymore. He doesn't even act the same. As he used to. But I'm not I've supposed to settle. Eight, eight months ain't going to change from five years. I've been the same way. I'm, I'm not ready to settle See, down. You say you're not ready to settle down, but you are ready to be a father. Yep. Why would you... Well, how can you be ready to be a father? I mean, that is the ultimate settling down to me. I mean, every check, every, every paycheck needs to go to that kid. Well, Everything. It will. And it will. But, but you're not willing... Do you love the mother of your child? Yes, I do. So then why can't you marry me? Because I don't feel like it right now. I'm not ready to settle down. <laughs> Rachel? I mean, we, uh... What is it you want to say to Brian? I want you to marry me. Make a date. No, you know, we go into a jewelry store, you know, looking for rings for me. And, uh, I'm sorry. And she, uh, she'll take me straight to the wedding rings, and it's like, no, I don't, uh, I'm not buying no ring for you, you know? I'm not ready to get yeah, married. Yeah, but we were in the store for two hours looking. Yeah, looking at her rings for ladies. I mean, he could have said, let's go. You know? And we, we cruise by uh, stores and stuff, like uh, wedding shops. She'll want to stop the car, look at the wedding. You know, I don't want to look at no wedding. Guys, wedding. am I crazy or does this seem so disrespectful? <laughs> Rachel, what is it you want to say to him? Please. I want you to marry me, and I want you, I want to set a date. Or? Or, or I'll see ya. Ooh, ooh, I can take out a child myself. Nice. Brian, what's a guy to do? He says, poof. <laughs> baby on her own. No, I'll help her, but I ain't marrying her right now. Yes, sir. Yes, I have a comment. Uh, I don't know, but I, to me, you guys are working in reverse. I think before you give them the ultimatum, you guys should have thought about, you know, before having a baby and all that stuff, you should have thought about that before. The thing is, and, you know, you, you're giving them the ultimatums now. I'm, not that I'm condoning what, they, what they're doing and that they're, you know, but the lady should have thought about it before also. You know, because now the ones who's going to pay is the child. Yes. Good point, You know, uh, you, you didn't you plan, you didn't plan having babies or nothing like that. It just happens. It, it, not, it, happens it just happens. It happens. It happens, it happens twice. Are child's going to pay if it's said, uh, later? You said, like, uh, it's uh, the guys who wear condoms and stuff. What, the girls kept their pants up the whole time? Okay, we don't need to get into this issue, but a condom protects both of you, and that's the only way to protect yourself from the AIDS virus. Exactly, so. but when you're intimate with your girlfriend, you don't need to have one. We, we, both, we both had AIDS tests. We know we don't have AIDS, and I ain't screwing around with no one else. Then, then 
what are you waiting for? If you love her, you are committed to having and raising I, a I child like to go with her. I have fun with my friends, party, drink beer and stuff. She don't you like do? none of that stuff. She doesn't like none of that. Yes, ma'am. What do you want to say? This is for Hector and Amy. You live together, you're going to have two kids together mm -hmm. now. You don't want to get married, but you practically are. So what's the difference? Take the extra step. The be difference? a man. Take responsibility for your actions. I don't want to get the divorce later on. I'm not going to get divorced, yet. Right? I'm not, I'm not saying I'm, I'm not going to marry her. You, yet. you said that you'll marry her when she learns to cook and clean for you. You're getting a wife. You're not getting a mother. No, no, I didn't no. say no. 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 Can I just ask you something? I mean, would you want to marry a man who has, who has had a gun to his head? Would you want to marry someone under the... No, I wouldn't be with any of these men. But they have. They have. Women say they're happy and they love them. So I understand the marriage part. Don't look like you're with anybody right now. I just, I would never want to walk down the aisle with my husband-to-be knowing full well that he was not happy about marrying me. I'd want it to be... Sort of a group love effort. All right, we come back. A pregnant woman will tell her boyfriend, if you won't marry me, I'll find someone else who will. Will this relationship come to an end, or will they finally hear wedding bells? You'll have to stay tuned to find out. So, oh, wait, you know what? Hold on to the date card. Okay, let's see. That's a surprise, I guess. Come in. Did you tell someone that you were single and now want to come clean and admit that you're married or dating someone else? If you want to come clean and admit that you're not really single, you could be a guest. Call 1-800-GO-RICKY. You must be 18 or older to call. I don't think two people should get married because they have a kid because you can't build a marriage just on a child. You have to have more than just children to have a marriage. You have to have love and other things. As long as they're both taking care of the kid, it doesn't matter, you know? If they're both giving that kid love, it shouldn't matter. If I was pregnant, believe me, he would be in this child's life. She is six months pregnant and says she would have been married months ago, but her boyfriend Keenan won't commit. Why? You know, I don't, I don't understand why. First, first he told me, um, like a couple weeks ago, he had told me that um, we were laying in bed talking about it, and uh, he just said, um, I don't want to, you know, I don't, I'm not ready to commit to you and stuff like that. I'm like, well, I want to get married, and then. Um, after I had a, he had a birthday party, you know, and I didn't go because I trusted him, and his ex girlfriend was there, and I, which I told him, you know, I do not want her there. I don't want her around. So, but anyway, so I got really upset. I packed and moved out. And then after, you know, we had talked about it and stuff, he explained to me, you know, they didn't do nothing, even though she stayed the night. What? And you've broken up many times yeah, over this issue of marriage and commitment. Yeah, we have, we have, and it's just, um, and then he told me he's all, well, I was going to propose to you on your birthday, and I, I bought the ring and everything, and I'm just like, well, it's too late now, you know, because of what you did. I, you know, I don't trust you anymore, and so now it's like, you know, I want to, I want to be able to trust him, and I need to tell him, you know. But what, okay, but what is marriage, you think that if, if he gets married, he can't cheat on you, because you gotta know, you watch the show, right? That's just not so, he that never, happens. See, I, we have, we have like a really, like, um, complicated past you know I've done a lot of bad things to him and I changed you know and so it's, it's kind of my responsibility to give him a second chance you know okay, what I mean what is ma marrying him what is that gonna change for you as far as trust um because then I know that that I have a ring he, he got me this ring and he said it was a promise ring you know like it's gonna happen so but it's about I, having I want, a ring but he, I don't want it to happen now I don't want to wait what why do I have to wait you know there's no reason for me to wait to get married we're gonna have this baby I'm sick of playing house you know what I mean are I'm you ready to give him the ultimatum yeah. All right, let's bring him on out. Keenan, join us. I know, Keenan, nothing happened, even though she spent the night, I know. But you know why you're here today. Yeah. Are you ready to get married? Um, I'm ready, not, not, not right now. Not right now, so no. get ready for the ultimatum, pal. Chandra? I need, I need some kind of commitment from you, and you know that. You know, I've been telling you, you know, and marriage is not that big a step. Having a baby is just the biggest step as getting married. It's just the biggest commitment. But you're willing to support me and the baby, but not be with me completely? You know, what is that about? I don't understand that. 
And until you can give that to me, then, you know, I can take care of this baby on my own. And you know that. Well. You know, what is that about Keenan? She's done a lot to me in the past. I don't... But that's the past. I worry about that stuff coming back on me. I gave her my heart. What kind was. of stuff? I'd care not to talk about it. Okay, you know, but she's done some stuff to she, you. She's done a lot of stuff okay, but, to me. Okay, but shouldn't that stuff have kept you from getting her pregnant in the first place? <laughs> because um, marriages come and go. 50% of marriages in this country end in divorce. But a mother and a father are forever going to be bonded and, and, and together in life want, as long as that baby is around. I want our baby to be able to have a mother and a father. Because you know that your name isn't going on the birth certificate until you get married. I told you that. Even even just being engaged and you could tell me that, yeah, China, you know, let's get engaged. You know, I want to be with you. Even put the marriage off until after the baby's born. I don't know. I need that kind of commitment, though. So, so I you're threatening him. You're threatening him by not putting his name on the birth certificate. No, he knows that. I, I won't do that because then that's like... You know, I don't know, I just need some reassurance, you know what I mean? That he, that things like this aren't going to happen, what happens. Yes, ma'am. It's a comment to all the women on the panel. I think that everyone on the panel is young. And you played house and you had children. I don't think at this point you need to play house and be a wife and spouse, because I don't think anybody's ready for it, neither the gentleman nor the woman. Thank you very much. I mean, ideally, shouldn't it be done the opposite way? Shouldn't you build a relationship and get married and try that out first before you bring children in? That does not always happen. I don't happen. think any. I don't think any of you thought about what you were doing before you did it. Okay, you just it felt good and you did it and you went with the flow. Okay, so now, I think so you should have thought about. Life, so now each of us need to give our babies the best future they can get. You can raise the children without being married as long as both parents are willing to make a commitment that the child comes first. Yeah, or the children come first. Well said. We're coming up next, we will meet a woman who is so desperate to get married, she even took her man to Vegas and got him drunk, hoping to trick him into marrying her. That's coming up next. We'll be back. guests are prepared to deliver to their baby's fathers if they don't agree to marry them today. Meet Judy. Judy has been dating Danny for three years and they have one child together. Judy says she has done everything to rope Danny in and tie the knot. But she is afraid Danny is too much of a player to ever settle down and get married. But Judy is here to issue an ultimatum. Danny is backstage and we'll hear from him in just a moment. Tell us, why are you afraid he's not going to settle down? Um, he's too much of a pretty boy to... He, he likes all his women around him, so he doesn't want anybody to think he's tied down with anybody but but I assume he's tied down with you I mean he's, yeah, he's not straying is, no but it, just like he'll have he has like this head that I don't know he just if, if he thinks that if women think that he has a girlfriend they won't pay attention to him but he does have a girlfriend you are yeah, his girlfriend he does have a girlfriend but he doesn't tell anybody he has a girlfriend <laughs> I have women call my house at 2 in the morning from the bar asking for him so what does that do, I mean, as far as the trust in your relationship? Is I, there any? No. <laughs> so why do you want to marry him? Because I love him and have my baby with him. <laughs> and you feel like if he was good enough, if you were good enough to make a baby with him, then you should be good enough to marry. Yep. I do. Tried. You have tried many times to get I've him to marry everything. you. What we have you to, done? We go to Vegas like once every two months and I try to get him drunk and go to, come on, let's go get married. <laughs> and he won't do it. He I won't do it. I tried to take him over Christmas. I took him to all the diamond stores and showed him the rings I wanted. Oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Should we meet Pretty Boy and talk to him? Yeah! Danny, come on out. Boy. I don't know, I expected someone 
Pretty, you're, you're a nice looking man, sir, but, yes. but pretty is not the word that comes to mind when I look at you. Okay, so Danny, tell us, you've been listening backstage? Pretty much. Why won't you marry her? She's uh, got a bad temper. She's, uh, oh, she, she um, <laughs> done a lot of crazy things, actually. She, uh, it started out as a one night stand, I thought. I, don't, I mean, that, that sounds bad, but. So that's all you wanted initially when you met her? Yeah, in the beginning, yeah. I, I you know, I gave her a chance. When we first started dating, uh, I just bought a brand new Harley, and I like to go ride my bike and have a good time. And, you like to show off. And then I met, and then uh, we met at a bar, and we had already kind of been together, slept together. And, um, and is that when you made the baby? Well, no. No, not we were together time. like two years before we had a baby. I mean, because it seems to me if you're not, you know, if you have all these issues with her, why did you go and get her pregnant? I mean, because you are forever bonded because of that baby. <laughs> Come on, honey. Yes. Question for you, Judy. Did you ever, instead of taking him all over the place to find rings, did you ever just speak to Danny? Oh yeah. And Danny just said he thought of you as a. a a one night stand. Did you mm -hmm. ever like? Well, see, in the beginning, he told me that he goes, "Oh, I don't want a relationship." But then, when we were together, he'd tell me, "Oh, I love you. I want to be with you." And he still tells me that I want. I'll marry you if you change your temper. All right. Well, let's see if he's willing to put his money where his mouth is today. But then he tells everybody Judy, else he doesn't want to get Judy, married. Judy, I know you're here to say something to Danny. What is it you want to say? Danny, I love you, and we have a beautiful son, and I just want either a commitment from you or just. Split up and go. Wait, wait, you want more than a commitment. You you said before he came out here, you want the ring, mm -hmm. you want the wedding date set today, yes. or else, Danny, would, you gotta get your pretty boy body out of there. <laughs> I would just like to have some kind of commitment today. You don't have to marry me today, but I mean, I would like some kind of commitment. No, uh, I, I can't. She's done too many crazy things. I can't. <laughs> Hold up. He lives in the past you said too much. She, yeah. <clears throat> but you know what? That's how you learn how to deal with, you know, your situations by each other's craziness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you just, you're not going, you don't you feel like marrying because she, because she acts crazy. Why? Do you love her? Yeah. Yeah, I love her. I care about her, but, uh. No, no, no. Do you love her? Yeah. <laughs> are you, are you in love with her? No, no. Yeah, no. but I, I just don't want to get married. I mean, if he was really in love with her, wouldn't he say, yes, yes, I love her with all my heart? You know what he does? He tries to compare me to his other wife. Oh, there was another he thinks, wife. He thinks she's got So maybe that explains did. it, guys. Maybe he's a little gun shy because he did it before and it didn't work out. Are you a little scared of getting married yeah, again? Yeah. Are you ever going to marry her? <laughs> well, see, in the, in the beginning, yes I... Yes or no, Danny? Are you ever going to get married again? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no? That's Judy, what are you waiting for? I think we all want to give him the signal. Poof, be gone. <laughs> Poof, be gone. <laughs> yes, ma'am, what do you want to say very quickly? You should have thought about that before you laid down with her without using protection and had that baby. Well, because to have a child, <laughs> you must love that person. And you should have thought about that. Right now, he just humiliated you on live TV and he can't say that he loved you but obviously you felt enough to her enough for her to lay down with her and have that kid you should be a little bit more responsible towards that action thank you very much coming up next a special movie star visit who will ring the doorbell stay tuned to find out She says she has been dating Lewis for more than three years and they have a beautiful two-month-old baby boy. The problem is that she wants to take their relationship to the next level, marriage. But he says, nope, it is not happening. Tell us, why is he, why is he saying no? He says it's because uh, he's not financially ready and, well, that's basically the only reason he gives me. And that's he, it, and you've he, had it because three years now well, and you have a baby? We've been together for three years. We've been living together for two years or more. And I'm ready to get married. So what do you want to say to him today? Either he's going to set a date or do something or 
He's ha he has to go. He or let me guess. Poof be gone? <laughs> Are you ready to deliver this ultimatum? Yes. All right, let's bring him on out. Lewis, get your butt out here. Hey, Lewis, nice to see ya. How you doing, Rick? Well, I gotta say, you just scored a point, point by wearing a tie. You look so nice today. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. But what's What's up with this? You don't want to get married because of you're not financially ready, yet you're financially ready to raise a baby. Uh, Ricky, I was having problems at first with financially, but uh, everything is going right right now, so... Uh. Okay, let's see. That's a surprise, I guess. Come in. Oh, my goodness. It's Tommy Davidson. Hey, Tommy. Nice to see you. Nice What's to up, have honey? you here. What's up, honey? How you doing? Mwah. Congratulations, I'm a huge girl. fan of yours. Congratulations, dude. <laughs> Congratulations, honey. Now, now, no pun intended. You have Wait, a new movie a coming out. <laughs> you have a new movie coming out. <laughs> that in some of these cases, in our people that have that are making babies, right? It, it goes hand in hand with their experience. Right. The, the movie is called Booty Call. It's called Booty Call. <laughs> Sounds perfect, huh? I guess it's a good example of booty calls. <laughs> yeah. Some of them. Some of them. Yeah. Not all. Of them, so. Right, right, right. We do have a clip of your new movie. Let's take a look, shall okay. we? Yeah. Watch this. Hey, Nick A. This plastic ain't easy to come by, girl. You don't know what I've been through. But I think I finally got this safe sex thing down. <laughs> you I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait for that. It looks great. had Jamie Foxx here once before. Okay, you guys okay. are both so hilarious. Thank Loved you. you since In Living Color. How much of you watch that all the time? So any advice for our couples today? I know you've been um, watching a little bit. Yeah, well, you know, he talked about his financial burdens and stuff like that, and marriage is for thick and thin, and, you know, it doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, love is the bottom line, so... Oh. As long as... As long as that's of, there, as long as that's there, the rest will fall in place. And forget about that, she got the ring. Mm -hmm. She got the ring. She got that rock, And honey. now we want to know, when's the date? Um, I ain't said no date, no time soon, but in the near future. In the near future. In the near future. <laughs> hold, on, hold up now, we got a whole other show. In the near future. Now, hold up now. <laughs> What's in the near future to you? Because uh, Mardi Gras over. Yeah, I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking like probably another year. Probably another year. It's going to take that long to plan the wedding anyway. Okay. Uh, it took him a year to afford that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy for you guys. Cool, I'm so right? happy. What else is going on for you right now? Um, I got this movie, Booty Call, coming out. Jamie Foxx, Vivica A. Foxx, Tamala Jones. Tamala, we had Tamala here, Tamala too. Jones She's so great. Too. I'm going to be in another uh, romantic comedy with Jada Pinkett called Woo. You lucky guy. Uh, next year. And great. T little TV thing. So I'm, I'm around doing my thing. That's great. Well, it's yeah. great that you came Thanks by here. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you for being here. Right. Thanks for being here for that special moment. Congratulations. Before we return, don't go away.
our guests are able to turn the pages of their storybook romances and move on to happier chapters of their lives. Whether our guests decide to get married or not, the most important thing is that their children are given the chance to grow up with their mother and their father. I want to thank all of our guests for being here today, and a special thank you to Tommy Davidson for stopping by. Thank you for watching. See ya. Promotional fees have been paid by the following. Oh,